this video, we're going to talk about how we can attach Google Earth imagery to your DGN files at Caltrans. The first thing you'll need is the DGN files that have attached to them the XWMS file. The file can be requested from headquarters or you can ask me and I can get it to you. The zip file contains folders, one for each zone. I've already extracted this one. It's located right here. I'm going to open it up and you're going to see there's six zones. We're going to be dealing with the zone six, so I'll show you what's in the folder. Double click. There's a DGN file and there's also an XWMS file. You'll be attaching this DGN as a reference file, which has attached to it the XWMS, which is a text file that points to a server that where Google hosts the imagery. So I've already got a file open. And then on my reference file dialog box, I'm going to go ahead and attach the DGN file that has attached to it the XWMS as a raster. So what I've got my reference file dialog box open. I'm going to go ahead and click Attach Reference. Now I've already done this once, so it always goes to the last place that you attached. And this is Zone 6 for our example. And here's the DGN file it has attached to it, the XWMS. Now we don't see the XWMS file because we have it set to CAD files. So I'm going to select that file and I'm going to have Interactive chosen for the attachment method. Click Open. This dialog we're just going to choose coincident world as we do typically. And then in order to see the raster, I'll need to go ahead and check display raster reference down here at the bottom. Now, if you don't do this during the attachment, you can always do this after you've attached it. But I'm going to do it now. I'm going to click OK. This will now attach the file. Now, because this is going outside of Caltrans, this could take a while for the raster image to actually appear but I can go ahead and clip the reference file ahead of time. Now I have a, an element here. It was the clip frame. I dropped it, so it's no longer a cell. It's just an element, a shape. I'm going to use that as my clip boundary for the reference file that has attached to it, the raster. So I'm going to have it selected up here. I'm going to click Clip Reference. My method is set to Element. Now if you do see these old-time cameras come up here, that just means that it timed out trying to find it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select the element, and I've gone ahead and I've clipped the raster. Now, sometimes this takes a bit for it to resolve, so I found that sometimes what I'll need to do is close the active file and then reopen it. Sometimes it'll show up. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pause at this point. Now, after a bit, probably about 30 seconds, the raster went from the old time cameras with the red circle and the slash to showing me the actual raster. So I can go ahead and zoom in here. And you are going to notice that the raster imagery in the background, sometimes it takes again a bit to resolve. It does look a bit pixelated now, but if I give it a little bit of time, it'll go ahead and resolve. And the other thing you're going to notice is that it is shifted. Uh, this is just the nature of raster imagery and design elements in MicroStation. Your elements are correct from survey, they're correct. The aerial imagery, it's not. Uh, we never move elements in our file to line up with at raster imagery. We trust what we get from surveys. So this will take a bit to, uh, to resolve here. So we'll go ahead and 